this is going to be a funny video to make. Um, this actually, this video actually, this is a serious video, but you might, this might come off as a satire video, and I'm sure I probably have a lot of girlfriends who would be like, Clayton, don't fucking make this video because you fucking suck with girls, but here we go. <clears throat> I get asked to do this sometimes on stream, and of course, you know, I've been asked to help wing with people in real life before, and um, I guess some people think I'm a Chad. Sometimes it's like a joke. When people, some people call me Clayton Chad Man or something. Uh, <laughs> so I'm going to tell you my relationship advice, my terrible relationship advice. I'm going to say anything I say, take it with a big grain of salt because it's very general. And I should forewarn you that I want to say don't become as bad as me because when I was red pilled, by life i took the red pill of life unfortunately i took an overdose of the red pill so don't take as much of a red pill as me you know what i mean but um my biggest and again very general and i'll tell you why and of course this also goes because i like social studies it's already almost a minute and 30 seconds and i haven't told you what the relationship advice is this also goes along because I like uh, I like social studies sometimes, and I like talking about you know two of my favorite words in the English language that I think really apply to life is perspective and convenience, and you can also use the convenience of your perspective. But almost two minutes, and I'm trying to make you wait for it. I should be whispering to make this sound sexy. Whew. My biggest relationship advice to tell anyone when you're trying to fuck girls or you're trying to do anything, is that no one actually cares about you. That is my biggest advice for you to try to get laid and have sex with girls and be popular with girls. The main person in this world that cares about you is you. Most girls don't care about you. When people care about each other, in most situations, it's only because it's convenient to care about you or to like you. So this is, you're like, claim this is depressing. <laughs> okay. And again, this isn't that I'm good with girls or anything like that. I know I've been asked. I mean, again, here's why I can say this, though. And again, I'm going to be all over the place, right? I can say this because I grew up being so unpopular with girls that I was beat up at the bus stop almost every day. I used to have rocks thrown at my face. Obviously, I was a nerd. I still am a nerd, I guess you could say. I was very nerdy. I used to have girls tell me I was ugly in front of everyone in class. I still remember, I think it was one of the last days of seventh grade. Right when I was leaving class, I think, you know, some girls came up to me and they were just like, we just wanted to tell you how ugly we always thought you were. That's not a joke. So... Things were bad for me, right? And I can smile about it now because all you can do is smile because the pain just hurts that much, right? Um, and then I can tell you, I became popular. I got a job as a model. Of course, you know, bad things happen. My health is not that good. But even say now, I'm still pretty popular, I guess you know what I mean. But my personality is still basically the same. I'm just be I've become more bitter and more cold. And it's like one of those things when you get older. Some of these girls that you know supposedly didn't like you being again, some people know that actually hang out with me in real life know that I can be a pretty subdued person, but at times if I'm in a good mood, I can definitely be like the life of the party as well. If I'm in a good mood, you know. But most times most times most times I'm pretty subdued. And I'm a very blunt person. Um, so, you know, when you're a nerd and you're unpopular and you're quiet, you're weird, right? And then because of how I look now, me being quiet sometimes is seen that I'm cool for some reason when that's actually not the case. But that gets into it's convenient at times for girls to think that 
I'm confident or something like that, I guess, when I'm quiet. And again, what I'm going to keep drive, trying to drive home to you is to remember that, so you can, I can have girls that didn't like me when I was younger, but then like me now, because it's convenient now, because of how I look, to think that I'm cool. And I want to keep driving home this point that if you ever get nervous talking to girls, and this is where I say don't get as bad as me, you need to take the red pill and realize that most people don't really care about one another and they only care about you in the moment and when it's convenient to care about you. I can tell you I've had so many times, and this again, I know, <laughs> I'm sure many girls are like, Clinton, don't give advice because you fucking suck with girls, right? But I can tell you, you know, I got to make myself sound a little cool here, right? You know, God, I, I can tell you, I, in my phone, I have, I've said before, I've had girls that have been technically in Hollywood movies spill their spaghetti in front of me. I was texting a girl, you know, I don't want to say their names, but, you know, I could technically call them right now. I've modeled all over America. I think she's, like, modeled in London and France even before. You know what I mean? Like, good-looking girls, right? And I've I've had uh, I've had many cool stories with girls that uh, most people probably would never experience, right? Of girls just doing stupid shit for me. For really no reason, right? I mean, I'm not saying I have no game. I have a smidge of game. I can be pretty charming at times. You know, uh, I think recently, I don't want actually, I don't want to brag about something, right? I mean, like I said, you know, I've had pretty girls that are much more important than me spill their spaghetti in front of me. But as well, I can say that I've had quotation marks, no name girls, totally blow me off, won't even give me the time of day. I've had many girls do not even just like it's kind of weird like to think it's like girls not even come up to me and like neg me like literally talk shit to me like say terrible things i've had so many girls do so many fucking terrible things to me and be like so legitimately like huge fucking cunts for no reason so i can tell you i'm trying to say like uh i'm not cool right i mean and i'm also trying to show that like what you do there is game stuff that matters, right? Like, logistic stuff matters. I'm a big believer that, you know, social proof matters. And that is one of my problems with game. Um, I know I have, like, ghetto social proof because I'm sort of a somewhat known nobody. Like, I mean, again, I've been banned from sites on the Internet because they think I'm so... My pictures have been stolen on the Internet so much that I get banned from certain websites for being a fake celebrity. They don't think it's actually me. Um, you know, technically, again, I know semi-famous people. Not like Brad Pitt famous, but people that have been in movies, I guess, right? Um, you know, models, whatever, you know what I mean? Um, and when I go out in, to various towns, I've been recognized in real life before. So I have, like, ghetto social proof. And I can be pretty charming, like I said, sometimes. And I can be kind of quiet. And when you're quiet, sometimes because people look at me, they think it's, like, that I'm important. But sometimes I, sometimes I just feel quiet, right? And, God, I'm, like, losing my train of thought. It's, like, 3 a.m. right now. Um, so I'm trying to say, like, so, oh, yeah, the bad thing about social proof, too, is other things about social proof that matter. I know one thing that I do that does matter a lot, too, I will say, and I am really bad at this. I don't really pay a lot of attention to things like Instagram and everything like that. I know a lot of people think I'm full of myself and Facebook and all that kind of stuff. If people remember, remember I never even was going to get a Facebook until my doctors were telling me I could die, right? So it's just not really me. I just post selfies because I feel, because I guess I'm supposed to use it. I know, I but I don't post a lot of, like, fun things, unfortunately, because it's just not really me, right? But, I mean, I will say social proof and doing, like, Instagram kind of game and stuff like that and Facebook. It's important to show that you're out a lot because I know I don't do that and it looks fucking weird. And it makes me look really disingenuous, like, when I go out and people know who I am. And because of how I look, they're like, Clayton, why don't you post pictures of you with all these girls like why do we only see it and really I don't get this so anyway that matters and I suck at that but because it's just not me but 
what I'm saying is, again, nothing you really actually do, no one actually really cares about you, okay? And so I'm trying to say that to be confident because, and live in the moment, right? Because think about me, someone who grew up a huge nerd, really unpopular, and then I came to a point where I know so many crazy girls. I've had girls that are much cooler than me spill their spaghetti in front of me. I've had many crazy stories of girls wanting to do crazy shit. I, you know, not that I have good game or anything. You know, I like that. And you know, I have guys that ask me to wing with them sometimes. You know what I mean? Then I can tell you every time a guy's ever asked me to wing with them, it's basically just me trying to get them girls that can't do anything, right? Like, that's like another story. Like, this is actually just kind of like a vlog about game and my experience with game, maybe. I can tell you I've never actually met anyone that I would consider a real alpha male or like a slayer. I know some people joke like I'm a Chad, but I'm not. Um, it depends. I mean, I guess it depends on what people's definition of that is. I mean... I've definitely met dudes that, you know, they get laid regularly. I've definitely met dudes that are good looking enough that you would assume they'd be like an alpha male. I would say that I am a fake alpha male when people think that I'm an alpha male because I have girls around me and people know who I am. But I'm not like a real alpha male because, again, I don't have good social proof. I don't use a lot of social media, which I think is important. And, you know, my logistics are not always good. And I don't have enough money to be a real alpha male as well. Um, again, this, this post is all over the place, right? And anytime I've met a guy who's supposedly a chat or an alpha male slayer dude, they've been like fake. Like I've gone out with these dudes before. And this isn't anyone like famous gone out with game or anything like that. So don't think anyone like that, right? But, you know, you go out with dudes in your area that are supposedly alpha males and they've totally, you know, uh, no doubt they get laid, but... I've seen them every time they've gotten like insecure around me and I'm like my game is not that good right you know what I mean so I've never actually met a real Chad or like a real Slayer I guess if that makes sense um, although I will say when I've been out of town I have met some dudes that I haven't really like game with them but really cool dude bros some dudes that are pretty good looking and I would not be surprised but in my own vicinity every alpha male chad slayer kind of dude i've ever met has been like a fake alpha male guy again they get laid but they're not real ones if that makes sense i guess it depends on what your definition is i've never met them but this post is really going all over the place right um i'm just trying to tell you though that think about me and i'm trying to say that what you do really doesn't matter like I want you to remember that no one really cares about anyone. And I know this is a depressing mindset to motivate you. Because I want you to think of the mindset that, in my opinion, one of the most important things with getting girls is the spontaneous, like, movie moment, okay? Like, I know a lot of some people think that movie moments don't happen in real life. But going up to a girl... And actually being able to have sex with her the first time you meet her. Or just talk to her, flirt with a girl. Normal people don't always do that. Think about just how you get nervous to like a girl. There's tons of girls all over the place that you probably... There's, whatever, thousands of people every day you go outside, right? Think thousands of people that will get too nervous to talk to anyone, right? And even... So just going up to a girl has a potential to be a movie moment. Like, I've had some really fucking hot girls dude within 30 seconds they were already down for the daddy thing and <laughs> it is what it is you know what i mean like that's like kind of like a movie moment right like who would think that i just went to the park and two girls and i've had other two girls with other things just you know what i mean those are kind of like movie moments and those movie moments can happen even though that sounds kind of like a porno i guess but but at the end of the day, I can tell you, as many girls as I've had that have told me they like me, tons of girls hate me. And also I can tell you many times I've had girls that tell me they, one minute girls like me, the next minute the girl hates me. The next minute the girl hates me, the next minute they see me with someone, they like me again. So 
from that perspective, I'm trying to tell you that take the motivation to do it when it, when you see like a chance. Have make that movie moment in real life. Like because remember, no one actually cares about anyone. And I know that's a really depressing thing. And it sucks because it's like a very kind of red pill kind of thing. And I know I took, life gave me too much of the red pill. I took too much of the red pill that, again, I've had so many girls that I just, I cannot tell you how many times I've had a girl hate me one minute, a girl like me the next minute. <sighs> They'll hate me next minute, then mentally good, you know, then hate you like you over and over again and it's just so it's like and you realize that no one actually really cares about anyone people care about people when it's convenient so maybe this girl sees you as someone that they like then it's convenient to like you or you know there's also a negative thing like I've told you a lot of times my problems with girls is a lot of people I like nerd girls too right but most people don't actually believe I'm a nerd I've met tons of girls before that I'm like, wow, this girl's actually, we actually have a lot in common. She's a nerd and she's cute and this is cool. And they just don't believe you're a nerd. They don't believe you actually like the same things and they think you're just too charming to be real or something like that, I guess. And you must be a huge douchebag that has sex with all these different girls and they just think you're a terrible person because it's convenient from their perspective to think that you're a liar. And that gets into the fact you just got to keep trying, dude, because remember that no one actually really cares about you. And I think you should try to get to that line, get to the edge of the cliff where you realize that nothing in life really matters and you only live once. And get to the edge of the, and the edge of the cliff says, remember that no one cares about anyone and people only care about each other in the moment. So that's why, you know, you go to a party, you're the cool guy at the party, or you go out and the street one day you're the only guy to talk to the girl and it's your movie moment like who's this guy random guy I mean you know there's like you make make that adventure story make that adventure story make a secret with the girl right there and there like that spontaneous moment right when you meet someone and so it's important to remember to act like this too because a lot of times when you talk you're talking to yourself too right but it's important to like remember this kind of stuff because at the end of the day someone can hate you one minute some can like you the next minute so you just gotta like go for it like that's my biggest advice unless you want me to get like real technical on like lines I use and stuff like that but you just gotta do it dude just do it isn't that mean just do it because again no one really cares about anyone if they like you if it's convenient to like you at the moment they'll like you if it's not convenient to like you at the next minute, they might not like you. I mean, again, I'm just saying this isn't saying I'm cool. It's just saying I can tell you because I've been on so many different sides of the social spectrum. I know so many people from different walks of life, and I can tell you almost nothing really matters. It only matters in the moment. And I know that's kind of depressing to think about. And again, I took too much of the red pill. So just take a little bit of the red pill, break the pill in half, and swallow half of it and realize that nothing matters and just do it don't take the whole one because if you take the whole one then you realize well if nothing matters then why am i doing anything like that's how i feel a lot of times like you know so i mean god i have so many crazy girl stories but i've just had so many i've seen i've seen like the bad side of people so often that again that makes me not even want to try half the time so don't take the full red pill take half a red pill and that's my advice on <laughs> that's my biggest advice on uh, life and relationships is that you may as well just try because no one really cares about anyone so just do it dude because there's a good chance like you know most relationships end up in a train wreck anyway you may as well try it takes confidence to try I know but and you got to find your confidence from somewhere and just be like dude you know what you only live once. You got to try, dude. Um, no one really cares about anyone, so you got to do it, dude. Again, there's other stuff I could think, you know, like logistics, social proof is important. How you can fake social proof. I have fake social. I have personally for me, like I said, I have fake and disingenuous social social proof because of how I look and, you know, I just am, I'm kind of a weird person. And anything I say too, again, the common denominator is me. 
happen in any of my stories, right? So I have a lot of cool stories, and I have a lot of shitty stories. And the common, de the common denominator in all those stories is ultimately me. So part of the problem is me with some of these. Part of the problem is that lots of people just deep down suck, right? So, you know, I mean, that's kind of life, actually. And not, and not very... Not a very positive vlog, but again, I say this many times, the most important thing in your life is your perspective and the convenience of your perspective. So sometimes it's just convenient for a girl to like you. Maybe she's just horny the minute you met and you beat her. It might be convenient for her to hate you. It's very rare to meet people that you continue to do things with and you continue to be cool with. I know that, that actually model girl I was talking about right now, man, me and her have known each other for a long time. And I don't think me and her ever got in a fight. That's kind of fucking weird, right? For me, that's pretty fucking weird because I'm a pretty fucking blunt person, dude. Um, and I can be, trust me, if I'm in a bad mood, I can be, if I see whatever, dude, I can be a very blunt person. I think people know that. Um, but anyway, that's kind of my biggest advice on relationships. I know I made this because people actually ask me this because they think I'm that cool. And I can tell you, uh, I'm a fake Chad. Sure, I have lots of cool stories, but I've done many beta things before. And I can tell you a lot of the good stories and a lot of the bad stories that happened were the same were the same clay to me. Some girls just liked it, some girls didn't. So I mean, uh, that's why I said that's why I'm trying to tell you that whatever your name is, Bob, Jimmy. Is there something kind of like look for a name? Do I have any names on my computer right now? I don't know. Bob, Jimmy, Zach. Do I have any names here? I'm trying to look for a name. Whatever the fuck your name is, you know, maybe one person will like you, the next person won't. I mean, it, it just feels like nothing you really do. Not, only so much actually matters about what you're doing. Okay? But you just got to take the initiative and hope it goes good. Remember that no one really cares about each other. If it's convenient, they will like you in that moment, I think. God, that was really fucking depressing. Should I do this again? You're like, Clay, this was this was not the vlog I wanted you to do, dude. <laughs> like, uh, anyway, some people ask me to do this. I don't know. I don't want to get too specific. But hopefully that was somewhat motivational because hopefully you, you learn from my, my experience, right? Uh, maybe.